So they have a whole paper out there. It's, it's publicly available, uh, weirdly. And it describes in great depth how you can uh, kill Bitcoin from a military point of view. And uh, one, one of the... Yeah, well, so it's, it's basically what, what the military normally does. It identifies centers of gravity for a, for, for an enemy, in this case, Bitcoin. And, and one of the, the centers of gravity is, of course, uh, the community. Mm-hmm. So they tr- they'll try to inject uh, spooks or fake developers that try to inject bugs into the software. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of stories about that as well, of course. So we, we won't <laughs> discuss them here. Uh, and the same on social media, of course. The, the trolls and the scams and the bots and the, I can't really pinpoint, of course, if, if those are state actors. But mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if they're state actors in the psyops domain that that watch this market and are active in this uh, community and 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 discrediting people and taking out people uh, from a social point of view. And especially people that uh, the thinkers in the community. I guess you and I uh, w- would be on the list as well. So, so that's one thing. Uh, and the other is that, uh, of course, the futures market, indeed, the price suppression. Um, you would open an account with the CME uh, and, and probably one of the other uh, exchanges, which which remind me to to grab that back later uh, is an important thing. But but yeah, they w- they would basically uh, try to make it sell the price down. Uh, through the options market. But uh, on the other hand, imagine they do that. And uh, that would be visible, right? That would mm-hmm. that would mean that the futures price of Bitcoin is lower than the uh, spot price, uh, which, which it is in, in certain, uh, in, in some short-lived periods. But that would also mean for the buyers that they can buy Bitcoin lower than the short, the, the Bitcoin price. So mm-hmm. they, and it's always a question, yeah, do the spot markets follow the future market or do the futures markets follow the spot markets, which is leading, which is lagging? Right. Uh, and in the end, that all that's it's all about arbitrage. So if there is a way to get the physical Bitcoin through the prices set at the future market or the spot price, the spot markets, uh, if there is a way to get the uh, physical delivery uh, at a lower price than the actual spot market, then then I guess yeah, they, they, they are, with Bitcoin it's it's very easy to circumvent that short selling because it will be it will be used by the buyers to get a better better price or or, or, or to, to get some arbitrage profits. Right. It's so obvious, but so difficult to do. I guess mm. for a, a country that that is that has grown that that is made big by. Uh, Silicon Valley, all the tech mm-hmm. companies in Silicon Valley, and all the banks in the, in, in New York. That the banks, of course, see Bitcoin as a competitor, so they're mm-hmm. against. And all the, all the whole, yeah, they, they'll be against Bitcoin. So it will take quite some courage from leadership of the banks, and thus also from the political political scene, to make that change to Bitcoin, mm-hmm. uh, even if it's as logical as we think it is for them with their vested interests. It's almost impossible to to change their existing cash cow business into something new, and the same right. for for Silicon Valley. Yeah, all the all the IT is in in uh, Silicon Valley, but Crypto Valley, yeah, <laughs> where's that being built at the moment? Is that is that Singapore or Switzerland or well, if 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 you make it crypto friendly, you you'll attract all the developers and the capital and the venture capital, etc. Like. Uh, well, I guess El Salvador does a great thing, which, but it's of course a very small country. Uh, I guess Florida and Texas are great examples, and uh, yeah, and other states as well. I always forget that name of the state where Yellowstone is, but uh, oh, Wyoming. Wyoming does beautiful yeah. things l- yeah. legally with uh, Caitlin and Cynthia, yeah. but um, a country, and especially the U.S., can make uh, the right decision or historically <laughs> historical failure. By by accepting the logical uh, thing, uh, Bitcoin, or by uh, banning it, uh, like like China did, it's 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 beautiful to see actually. Yeah, yeah, it really is, and it just yeah, yeah, and and, and I really, I mean, maybe it's good to know. I'm I'm very hopeful uh, because I know the discussion is going on uh, in a lot of governments and 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 uh, regulators uh, mm-hmm. in, in different countries, and I talk to a lot of them in Europe. Mm-hmm. But also in the U.S. and Canada, and, 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 and those are more more private settings with a lot of people from the Bitcoin community and from the traditional finance or regulator community, governments as well. Mm-hmm. So the talks are the talks are good, 
um, and I think the tone is good, and I guess the the stakes are uh, known. I guess most politicians know that they it's not wise to kill a promising innovation. Uh, right, that's a risk. Uh, but they also care about, of course, money laundering and tariff financing and all that stuff. So we'll find a solution somewhere. Yeah. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.